Hello. You going to join me for a video? Alright then. Oh, hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a talking video because about two years ago I did a activity called NCS. Now, if you don't know what NCS is, it stands for National Citizen Service. And basically, 16 to 18 year olds can do this. Uh, course it's about it's about a month long it only costs 50 pounds and basically you do all these team building exercises with people from like areas that you like surrounding areas that you live uh say so i for example i live in norwich uh i did the ncs course last no not last year two years ago now holy shit do i feel old <laughs> um but yeah i did the ncs uh course about two years ago and I'm going to tell you my story of it, basically. Um, so it started back in June 2016. I had just left school. Uh, I didn't really fit in with many people at the time. I really did not want to do the course. Uh, Mum just said, oh, you, you're, you're going to do it anyway. You're go you ain't going to regret it and stuff like that. And truth be told... She was actually right. I do not regret doing NCS ever because I think I met some of the best people in my life from that course. Um, but yeah, it's June 2016. Uh, I start the course. I knew some people who did the course. Some of my old schoolmates were part of the course. Uh, a few being uh, Connor, uh, a boy named Theo and a boy named George. I knew them, they were on the course as well. Uh, we went to all the briefings, we went to all this, all these places, we had to pack. I was prepared for this, unlike some. Haha. <laughs> Harley! But I didn't know Harley at this point, so yeah. Um, we were travelling to this place in Essex. It was very far away and we were going away for a week. You go back for the weekend, you go away for another week, and then you spend the next two weeks of those four uh, doing some community, like, I would say community service, but, like, helping the community in your area. And at this point, I was living in my old house, so I had to stick to people close to that area. I couldn't do the Norwich help thing. But I'm sidetracking now. Um, but, yeah, we got to this place, and we all got a briefing from our man, Paul Sykes, and... He told us what was going to happen, what we were going to do, uh, basically. And then we had to pair up with each other in tents. And the people who you stayed in tents, who you were going to be bunking with for the next week. I was put in one of the biggest tents with... It was me, Theo, George, Connor, Sam, Bryn, and, of course, Harley. So that made six of us. And... I should know, is that seven? No, nah, seven. No, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm bad at... M Wait, me? Yeah, it's not seven, sorry. If my math is wrong, please correct me. I'm I'm not good at maths. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were all in this tent. Oh, no, wait, Johnny! Oh, sorry, I forgot one more guy. His name, his name was Johnny. I, I completely forgot about him. <laughs> sorry, Johnny, if you ever watched this video. Um, but yeah, we were all in a tent together, and... First night, um, I just felt homesick and I had to go outside and cool off. I do get homesick because I do miss my parents a lot. As much as I give them shit, I do miss them to certain extents. Um, but there was one person I really connected with on the NCS course and that was Harley. And I, th looking back, I wish I could go back to that moment and become friends again. Because you know that moment when you know when you meet someone, and you, you get that feeling through your head and thinking, I'm gonna know this person for the rest of my life. They are on the same level as me. They think I like they. They're basically like the brother you never had, and that's how I feel with Harley at the start of the NCS course. And to be honest, to this day, I still feel the same now. But yeah. We had to go to bed at, like, certain times. They recommended it because we'd be doing so much during the day. And 
all sorts of activity stuff, and I can't believe I can say I did it. But on, at the end of one of the days, uh, there was a opening for 80 people out of nearly 300 people to do uh, this theme part, like, like this little dipping in the lake thing. And me and Harley were lucky enough to get in. Uh, it was it was really fun to do. But over the week, we grew closer and closer. And Harley, being a vlogger at the time, actually made videos about his NCS experience, like filmed the whole thing. And I always watch back those videos because it, I given it a sense of nostalgia and making me want to go back because I know I've done it. It's been done. Uh, I feel like I would love to do it. I would give anything to do it again. But then over that first week, we met more people. Uh, girls, nay. Well, we met. We spoke to a lot more girls and more boys. Uh, a few naming being Emma, Jody, Chloe. There, there were so many Chloes that I can think of. There were too many. I already know enough Chloes as it is. I know about like twelve Chloes. That's I think Chloe is like a more common name, but I grew very close to a girl, the girl Emma, and <laughs> truth be told, uh, everyone thought we were going to get together at the end of the course because we were so close. We hugged a lot. We just got really close and everyone thought we were going to get together because that's how teenagers work. Oh, emotions. Where is thy... <laughs> Where is the endless banter? Oh, but yeah. We met a lot more people. We did a lot more activities. And one of the funniest uh, things I remember, and I have a photo right here. Uh, we were all put into groups. There were 12 groups, I think. And I was put in this group. As you can see, I am the tallest out of all of them. And I was probably the tallest person on the course. And if you know me personally, I'm a tall bloke. I'm only 6'3". That's quite tall. But yeah, I was put in a group with some people called Ruby, Connor, Jack, Chloe, Sandal. Or as I call it, Sandals. Um, Scarlet. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember one of them, Abby and uh, Chloe, no, is it Megan, sorry. <laughs> See, there's all these names, and that's us there. Um, we had to do this team building exercise where we had to run with the cannon, disassemble it, put it over a log, put it back together, run to the end, turn it round, and then do the same. And our team failed miserably. We were all such terrible people. We were terrible at this. I'll admit that. Um, and they told us to get into height order. And by Distinguish, I was just first in line. Because why not? <laughs> but obviously, time went on. We made friendships. We had fun. I was looking more into YouTube because Harley was vlogging and I decided to vlog as well and I was just his kooky crazy friend at the time. But then came Friday and we had to go home. We did all these amazing things and the sad part of it was we had to go home. We had done so many amazing things and waking up at the crack of dawn was not one of them. We had to wake up at about six so we could shower, get ready and have breakfast. And be ready by like 8, 9 o'clock. That was horrible for me. I, I'm not... I love to sleep. Never deprive me of my sleep. <laughs> oh, this video is already 9 minutes long. And I'm still going about the first week. I've got like 3 more weeks to get through. But I think, yeah. Some notable moments for me was when Harley filmed me in my sleep. Here's a clip of it now. Yeah, thanks, Harley. <laughs> um, we did all these amazing things. Uh, our group got a lot more funnier. The funniest thing I remember, or like, there are so many fun things that you can do about NCS. And I remember when I first spoke to Harley, um, he'd only had five minutes to pack his stuff. Because <laughs> he thought he was doing a different week. And that just... 
I think everyone in the tent just laughed for that because all he packed was clothes and his vlogging equipment. That was it. There was no there was no like, no charging ports anyway, so he literally had the batteries he had. And one noticeable moment was when he dropped his phone. Well, we were in like these wooden like like big. There was like tents that you camp in on the floor, like in the dirt. But then there was like these massive ones, and since there were a lot of us going into a tent, we had to have this massive one. And there were like floorboards that had spaces in between them. And Harley jumped off his bed, and the phone dropped through the floorboard. So they had to cut open and like drill open the floorboard to get the phone out. <laughs> Oh no! But that was probably one of the funniest moments. But then, yeah, yeah, the week ended. We had to go home, chill out for the weekend, and then do the same thing again. But at Eastern College, which is a college that is very close to my area. And then week two began. Uh, we had to do roommates with uh, groups of two. Some got to do groups of three, but I roommate I roomed with Harley. Now, as you can tell, we were nuts and weird. So putting us in a room together for about a week probably made us a bit more mental than we should admit. I think Harley can agree with me on that. <laughs> but I remember I walked into the room that we that we had for the week. I looked at the top bunk and said, shotgun top bunk. And it was probably... The stupidest decision I made because he got the bottom bunk and I I move about in my sleep so I was so worried that the bed was actually going to tip it was bunk beds as well which made life so much worse <laughs> but yeah we 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 shared the room together for another week and that was just fun uh, we did a lot more exercises and things obviously most mainly planning for the third and fourth week uh, as well as just getting closer to more people uh, we went to a golf course. And a funny story here is, um, <laughs> we we went to the golf course, we were hanging out, and me and Emma were in the corner of a sofa. We were all hanging out at a sofa, it was our, we had our big group of friends, and me and Emma were just chilling in the corner. And she borrowed my hoodie, and that was my Levis hoodie, and basically we just we looked at each other and everyone thought we were gonna kiss at that moment everyone was like go on go on do it do it and then we we just didn't i i don't know why i didn't do it i just felt like it didn't feel right but i wanted to i don't know if you've ever experienced that and whoever watches this video i'm going to get brutally murdered by telling people this <laughs> but yeah we did a lot more things together and it was probably the best experience of my life. Uh, the the first two weeks were amazing. And at the end of said week, uh, we had to give a little performance. Which made life so much more worse. <laughs> um, we had to impersonate the people we'd done the course with. And the best one, and the best group would get a prize. And me, in my infinite stupidity and somewhat wisdom decided to do Paul Sykes and yelling at the top of my voice nearly breaking my throat did not work everyone I mean yes I had the power to make people laugh I think everyone laughed at that I was either laughing at me or with the with me I do not know probably at me um we did all these amazing things and at the end of the week, that was probably the funniest moment for me. I also did manage to prank Harley because he filmed me sleeping, so I thought, I need to get my revenge on the second week, and I did. Basically, we had rooms to the keys, and I had to get changed, and he, he went down to meet Chloe, who was, at, who was his girlfriend at the time, uh, and I said to him, Harley, I've lost the key. He checked my pockets. I, I had it in my... I, ha I had it hidden in one of my uh, shirt pockets, um, he was panicking, he was stressing, and I took the key out, and I went, Harley, look, and I had the key, and I had, I had the key in my hand, and he was like, oh, you fucking idiot, <laughs> oh, I wish I could prank him again, I so want to, Harley, if you watch this video, please don't, <laughs> please don't prank me, otherwise I will get you back, um, but yeah, I did pranks, I did jokes, we played a lot of games of Never Have I Ever, so we learned a lot of different things about a lot of people on our course, but at the end of the day, all good things must come to an end, and week two ended. 
We didn't know if we were ever going to see these people again. I know I did because I was at Sid I was going to City College with Emma and Harley and a few more from the course. And yeah, actually, I want to bring up something notable about week two for me. Um, Emma, I was the girl Emma I was close with. I liked her, but there was a girl who liked me on the course, and you're thinking. And you're, you guys are probably thinking, Ben, why didn't you go for the girl who liked you? Um, it was kind of awkward because she tried to get with Harley the week before. And I hate it when people move on so quickly. And I can sometimes be that person. That's why I hate myself sometimes. And I know that sounds like a bit rubbish, but oh well. But yeah, she liked me. I didn't like her. And she would try in her infinite wisdom to try and split me and Emma up. Uh, we did this rapping DJ exercise thing. Um, basically, the scene went Emma, me, this girl. Uh, no, Emma, this girl. No. Fuck, how'd it go? Me, this girl. Me, Emma, this girl. And she decided to say, Emma, can you move up one? I, I want to sit next to bed. And I was like, I'll just go in the middle. I had no idea this was happening at the time. I was just brain dead. <laughs> But, yeah, I didn't know at the time, and everyone was like, um, how are you not noticing this? How are you not noticing this? And I was just like, I'm not. I'm really not. But I just didn't think anything of it, and I only found out weeks after said event. And I was like, no. And everyone was like, oh, finally, he got it. God, what a twat. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, that's just a little side story in the inevitable life of me. Um, and then weeks three and four came. Uh, nothing really interesting happened. We were just planning our community slash helping task for that week. And then it was done. NCS was over. And I think, I think they should have stuck it to the first two weeks. And honestly, I don't look back on what that NCS experience did for me. Yeah, so alright guys, uh, my uh, camera cut out, so basically I'm gonna show you some more photos from my NCS experience, or well, basically at the end we got the certificate and to say that we'd done the course. Uh, this photo was from when we did banana boating on the first week. It was me, Megan, Jack and Connor. We had a really fun time on the banana boat and with banana boats you do fall off and you fall off and then things got worse. I could not get back onto the onto the boat. I had to try really hard because I hate water and you have to like it's like jumping in deep water is impossible. Um, and this one was the two groups. We had two groups merged together to build like a building competition, and those are our two groups. I can't remember who was in other said group, but yeah, um, that was probably. A really fun experience for me but those are the ones I really have but at the end of all the four weeks you had the graduation and that was probably the worst time for everyone because it was the last time we were gonna party all together as one huge group and yeah we didn't know if we were ever gonna stay in contact again but I knew I was definitely gonna stay in contact with Harley uh, Emma everyone else that I'd met on said course where is it? Here we go. Basically, there was like this, you know you get those pies and you get like the phone booths that give you um, photos and stuff. Uh, we had this one. Uh, in the photo, I can see Summer, Neve, Chloe, Jodie, Megan, me, Harley, another Chloe, Johnny, uh, Sam, and two others. I can't remember their names, but we had loads of funny photos together. Uh... They were probably the best, that was probably the best night of my life because I was surrounded by so many loving people that I truly loved. Oh, it was just, it was just brilliant and I, I could not trade them for anyone else. It was probably the best month of my life essentially and I hope people who have done it last year this year next year i hope guys if you are willing to do the ncs course it is truly worth it you meet so many amazing people you learn so many amazing things and basically 
uh, if Harley had never gone to the NCS that week, I would not be doing YouTube. You would not even be watching this video right now. And that's scary because I never wanted to do YouTube again. At that point, I wanted to be an actor. I wanted to perform. But then, obviously, I met Harley. He introduced me to YouTube. I made the Benji Plays channel that you are watching right now. And that's scary. That is very, very scary. But, I mean, that was amazing. I loved it. I could not believe it. And I could not thank anyone else who did the course, especially Paul Sykes. He made he made it so fun and I want to thank him for that if he ever does watch this video, which I sincerely doubt. But oh well. Um This is my NCS story guys, and I hope I really, really hope you enjoyed this video because if you did, don't forget to leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share it around on all sorts of social media. Guys, I, I, I had a great NCS story and I really hope you do too. I'll see you in the next video.